Hi everyone, my name is Matthias. In this video I will teach you how to play Sam Smith's One Last Song. Before we start the video, I would like to say um, thank you so much. Yesterday's video was was huge and your reaction was, was really emotional. And, uh, and the first two comments was from Argentina and from Canada. And I would like to say again, thank you so much. I'm really happy that um, you guys watching my channel from all over the world it means me a lot so and who's gonna be the the first three comments on this video if you would like to jump in this game just write a comment down below in the comment section so let's talk about the song uh, we need a capo on the first fret but before the play along part I gotta show you how to play these chords without uh, a capo the time signature is 3-4 Let's talk about the chords. So the first chord what we need is a C major chord. Third fret on the A string, second fret on the G string, G open string, first fret on the B string, and first string gonna be open. The second chord will be E minor chord, low E string open, second fret on the A and the D string, and G, B and first string will be open. The next chord is A minor chord, A open string, second fret on the G, D and the G string, first fret on the B string and the first string will be open. The next chord will be a bar chord, F major chord. The first finger gonna do the bar and third fret on the A string and the D string and second fret on the G string. Uh, the next chord will be a G major chord. Third fret on the low E string, second fret on the A string and G, I mean D, G and B string will be open. Okay, let's talk about the first verse and the strumming pattern. It goes like this. One, two, three, two, two, three, 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 two, three, two, two, three, one, 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 two, three, two, three, one, two, three, two, 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 three, one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, Two, three. And this C major chord gonna be the first chord in the chorus. So let me show you one more time um, the verse slower. You have to mute the first three notes. So one, two, three, and two have to be open, and two, two, three. Uh, gonna be muted again. So one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, two, three, one, two, 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 three, two, two, three, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three. After the second verse, we're gonna have a break. Okay, let's talk about the chorus. Uh, the chord's gonna be the same. Uh, the strumming pattern will be the same, the, the, but the permutation gonna be different a little bit. So the beginning will be exactly the same. One, two, three, two, two, three, 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 three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, two, three, two, two, three, one, 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 two, three, two, two, three. And the end of the chorus, uh, there is, after the chorus actually, there is an interlude 
And uh, here we have to play a kind of G. It's, it's a G major at nine, what I'm playing and what I will play in the play along part. But you can play any kind of G or open G or G sus4 as well. So the interlude will be the next part after the chorus will be a G. I will play a G at nine. After the interlude, we're gonna have one more verse and one more chorus. After the second chorus, the next part will be the bridge. Uh, let's talk about the chords at first. So the first chord in the, in the bridge will be A minor chord. The second chord will be G major after C major and F major chord will be the next one. After you have to repeat these chords, so A minor, G major, C major, F major, and here we will have a D7, fifth fret on the A string, fourth fret on the D string, fifth fret on the G string, and third fret on the B string. And after, we're gonna have the G major again. Okay, so the bridge goes like this. One, two, three, two, two, three, 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 one, two, three, two, two, Let's play one more time slower. One, two, three, two, two, three, 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 two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three. Here we're gonna have two bars break before the last part, which is uh, the last chorus. Okay, so after the bridge, we have to play one more chorus. And uh, after the chorus, the song ends with the interlude with a, with a G chord, G at nine. And the last chord in the song gonna be a C major chord. Let's talk about how to play these chords without the capo. So the first chord, instead of the C major, we will have a C sharp major chord. Instead of the E minor chord, we have to play an F minor chord. After, instead of the A minor, we have to play a B flat minor chord. Instead of the the F, we have to play actually the same bar chord, but but now with the capo, this is F sharp major chord. Instead of the G chord, we have to play a G sharp major bar chord. And I think we have one more new chord in the in the bridge which was the D, which was the D7. Now this is a E flat seven chord. Now, if you learn the song, let's try to play with me with the play along part of the video.